Hi third grade, it's Mrs. D'Amico here. Today we are going to work on unit four, week two, day one. Let's get started with our drill sounds warm up. Are you ready? A apple a. Ah. A safe a. A acorn a. A wash a. Ah. A squash a. Ah. I itch i. Eh. I pine I. I high I. You up a. Uh. You mule you. You rule u. E ed e. Eh. E peat e. E me e. O octopus ah. O home. O. O no O. Why cry I. Why baby E. Okay, let's do some R controlled. Ready? A R car R. O R horn or. E R her er. I R bird er. And U R burn er. There's my poster. Let's just do a couple of the vowel teams. Ready? O A boat O. O E toe O. O W snow O. Or it could be O W plow ow. Good. U E blue oo. E W chew oo. Nice work. Okay, now we're going to quickly watch this video to learn our new concept for the day. Here we go. Hi friends, it's Mrs. Keo here. Today we're gonna to be working on unit four, week two, day one of Introduce New Concepts. We're gonna be looking at how do we add these vowel suffixes to 111 words and vowel constant E words. Let's begin. Be my echo, shop. Let me tell that word. You should be thinking about what letters you think I should be putting up here. Read this word. That's right, shop. Take a look at this word. Is this a one, one, one word or a vowel constant E word? That's right, it's a one, one, one word. One syllable, one vowel with one consonant at the end. Be my echo. Shopping. Is there a suffix at the end of that word? There is. It's the ing. So I need to think about what am I going to do to add my ing suffix to this one 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 word? First, I'm going to. I can't put that down there because what do I need to do? I need to double that final consonant, and my cards are laminated so I can write on them. And then my I add my suffix ing. Now let's read this word together. Shop, shopping. There we go, that's how you add that. So now let's think about this word. Hope. What is this word? Hope. Is hope a 111 or a vowel constant E word? That's right, it's a vowel consonant E. We can really see that there. Hoping. Does the word hoping have a suffix? It does. It has ing. What am I going to do to add my suffix ing to the word hope? That's right, I'm going to drop that E, add my ing. Remember that E goes away, but it still stays. A vowel constant E word. Let's read this. Hope, hoping. There we go. That's what you do. Let's try a couple other words. Here we go. Clapped. What is the base word? Clap. Let's tap that one out. Clap. Here we go. 
bring up what do I need? Clap. But what was the whole word I said? Clapped. So I'm going to want to add my suffix ed, which is a vowel suffix. What do I need to do? It's a one, one, one word. I need to double the P. Add my ed. Let's read this. Clap, clapped. Very good. Let's try another one. Bravest. What is the base word? Brave. Let's write brave. Are you thinking about the letters you would put up here? Read this word. Brave. But well, what was the word I said? Bravest. How am I going to add my EST suffix to the word brave? That's right. Drop that E, add EST. Let's read it down. Brave, bravest. And it still remains a vowel constant E. Let me show you how we're going to mark these up. So look at the word clap. I scoop my base word. I star the added P that I added here when I doubled it. And then I circle my suffix. How about bravest? Do I'm going to scoop that base word, circle my suffix, but this is still a vowel consonant E, so I'm going to pop my E right there. And that's how you mark up those words. Very good job today. I'll see you soon. Okay, third grade, now we're going to do some echo find letters and words. Let's start with the letters first. If you don't have your magnetic letter tile board at home, you can just point to the screen for finding the letters. Or when we go to build words, I would use the screen as a guide, but then you can write your words on the piece of paper at home. Okay, so let's start with some sound. What says z? Say the sound. Z. All right. What are you pointing at? Yes. Hopefully you know Z, zebra, Z. And also don't forget, right, sometimes that S, especially when it's a suffix, like in the word bugs, right? Good work. Okay. The next sound. What says T? Say it. T. What do you think? Definitely the obvious one is T top t, but there is something else on this board in front of you. Do you see it? Right, the suffix like in jumped, ed sometimes sounds like t. Nice. Okay, the next one. What says d? What sound? D. Go ahead. Right, d dog d. Do you know the other one? Mm -hmm. Ed sometimes just sounds like d, like in hmm. I have to think of one off the top of my head. Glued. I glued the piece together. Very good. Okay, the next sound. W. Say it. W. What are you pointing to? Right. W. Wind. W. And something else. The digraph. W. H. Whistle. W. Correct. Next sound. Ch. Say it. Ch. Which ones? The digraph, C-H, chin, ch. And what about our trigraph, T-C-H, catch, ch. Good job. The last one, you ready? K, say it. K, find all three. C, cat, k. K, kike. Last one. C, K, sock, k. Great work. Okay, third grade, next we're going to find the words and build the words. The first word is pressed. Say it, pressed. He pressed his thumb into the cookie. Pressed. What's my base word? Press. All right, think, how should I build that? Tell me. P -er. Where did that go? My goodness, let's try again. There it goes, that was weird. There's a blend, Per. What vowel? Eh. 
Now, s press. Yeah, and actually, there is more than one. This is the bonus letter. Okay, so there's our base word, press. Now, I said, put it in past tense. He pressed his thumb into the cookie to make, do you ever have thumbprint cookies? What suffix do I need to add? Right, E, D. So let's attach that. Here's our word, pressed. Say it, pressed. Okay, the next word is captive. Say it, captive. Did you notice that one is multisyllabic, right? So I'm going to get, it's two syllables, cap, tiv. Let's do cap, ready? K, a, p. I'm writing these down at home, I hope, right, to practice. Okay, now what's our second syllable? Tiv, go, t. Now what card? Right, here's our new sound, here it is. I, V, E, give, iv. Very good, cap, tiv. Nice. And let's do another one. Cutest. Say it. Cutest. What's our base word? Cute. How would I build that? K. U. That's a long vowel, right? Like cute. Right now it says cut. How do I change that? Add the E. Right. There's my base word, cute. Now I'm making, if you remember, the word is cutest. So what's my suffix? Vowel suffix est. Notice though, here's my vowel dash e word, and I'm adding a vowel suffix. Do you remember what we do? Drop that e. I moved it right up there, and attach the suffix. Cutest. Good. Let's try another one. Safely. Say it. Safely. He safely buckled his seatbelt when he got into the car. Safe is my base word. How would I spell that? S, -S long A, right? F, F, and we don't want saf, E. Okay, now the word was safely. What's my suffix? L-Y. Is it in the consonant column or the vowel suffix column? It's a consonant. These are my favorites. You don't have to change the base word when you attach a consonant suffix. So do we drop the E there? No, we do not. Good. All right, let's do another one. Voter. Say it. Voter. The voter went to the booth to cast her vote. Voter. What's my base word? Vote. Right. Let's go ahead and build that one, please. V O. Right? I need the silent E. This is a V dash E syllable. So what's my suffix? A person who votes is a voter. ER. It's a vowel one. What do I do again? Drop that E and attach the suffix there. Good job. Let's do one more. This one is from what we talked about today. Splitting. Say it. Splitting. He was splitting pieces of wood with an axe. Splitting. All right, what's my base word? Split. Good. Let's go. S. P. Oh, this one has a three letter blend. Did you get it? Split. I. Here it is. T. Okay, my base word is split. What kind of word is that? Is it a vowel dash e word? No. Is it a one, one, one word? Do you remember the three rules? One consonant, or I'm sorry, no. One syllable that is closed has only one vowel and only one consonant following that vowel. So just like vowel dash E words like cute and vote have a rule when you attach a vowel suffix, so does, so do one, one, one words. And we talked about that. We don't want our word to say splitting right? So what do we need to do before we attach, attach that ing suffix? Do you remember? She, right, she went over it again today. Double that final consonant in the base word. Now we have what word? Splitting. Excellent work. Okay, the last thing we did in foundations today was look at the final two o'clock letter. 
we did lowercase q. So if you're at home today, get out a piece of paper, watch the video, and practice your lowercase q at home. Here we go. Q is a two o'clock letter. It starts on the grass line. Point to the grass line. Glide up towards the plane line, then around two o'clock. Trace back around to the grass line, then straight up to the plane line. Trace way down to the worm line. Loop back up to the grass line and make a tail. All right, third grade, that's all I have for you today. Thanks so much for joining me and I'll see you back next time.